hello everyone so in today's video what we are going to do is we are going to see how we can create a typing effect in vanilla javascript so this is a demo so this is how the typing effect would look so now let's just get started we'll move to vs vs code and create a file called index.html and another file called app.js we will first load our boilerplate code i'll give a it a title of typing effect next thing is what i'll do is i'll create a container and a p tag with the class name of typing next thing what we have to do is we'll first of all start the live server so here it is uh, now what we have to do is we have to give it some styling i'll i'll just give the styling here only in the html file and we are not creating another another file for the style sheets box sizing border box margin 0 padding 0 next thing is i'll select the container and give it a width of 100% a height of 400 pixels a background color of pink display flex align item center and in the p tag we'll give it a padding of one rem font size of four rem and font family of sans serif now let's just type in some dummy text and see how it is looking so yes so this is how it is looking currently so we will remove this dummy text and move to our app.js file so in this we will first use document dot query selector to get the typing paragraph tag we will in the text variable we will store some random text like the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog next thing is we will define a speed that uh, the speed uh, the speed of typing i have uh, set it to 100 milliseconds and i'll let uh, i'll create a count variable with the initial value of zero now let's just build in a function typing and this function would have count in this function it should have count less than text dot length so it is so it should actually uh, the function should be called ev every time and un until we are at, uh, reaching the end of this sentence we are reaching the end of the index of the sentence so for this let's just type p the text content is equal to p dot text content plus text dot care at count now we'll increase the count variable by one every time and here we will set a timeout of and we will call the typing function again 
and we'll set it as set a speed over here so yeah now it is done and when we call this function we'll get a typing effect so guys i haven't linked the the javascript file in the html so let's just do that so now let's so now you can see it has create a typing effect so now what we can do is we can set it a speed or whatever you want so yes so whatever speed you feel like you can set it to that so that is all for this video so if you like our content kindly subscribe to our channel and like our videos so thanks for watching